Hi there, me again. Uh, okay, we're going to do another video and this time we're looking at a solution for customer record keeping. Now this is all to do with the COVID-19 and we've got situations where uh, schools are having things like um, kindergarten inductions at this time of the year and other events that are happening at the school and they need to do similar to what restaurants and cafes are doing in keeping a record of people who attend uh, their site so that uh, if there is some issue that occurs that contact tracing can be arranged afterwards and uh, that's just a matter of making sure that we can capture uh, contact details of everybody who visits your site. So what I'm going to do is uh, take you through a couple of websites uh, that you can follow along with this and you can get yourself an automated process where you can have a QR code at your front counter where people can use their ordinary mobile phone to scan the QR code, fill in their contact details and you capture that automatically in a Google form. So let's see how we do that because that all sounds really interesting and it shouldn't be too hard to, um, to follow this. A couple of links here. We'll have a look at the first one first. HTTPS New South Wales DOE dot link forward slash visitor form. Okay, so we're going to go to there first. I've already typed it in here and if I press enter, what it's going to do is take me to a shared Google document that um, I have shared which is a Google form of a visitor register for a New South Wales public school. We don't need to open it or anything. What we need to do is make a copy of it. So the first thing you're going to have to do is make sure that you have um, Google Drive signed in. So make sure that you've got access to drive.google.com um, which is your normal Google Drive. And what we want to do is come in here and right click on this and choose the option that says make a copy. So what we're doing is using that as a template and we're going to copy it into our own Google Drive that we have at school uh, and you can then move that to a different folder if you want to but we're just going to make a copy for now straight into our Google Drive folder. So we click make a copy and what it's going to say is copy, creating a copy of New South Wales Public School Visitor Register in my drive. Okay, so if I now go to my drive and have a look in here, I can see that there is now something in here which was done right now, copy of New South Wales Public School Visitor Register. I can uh, do things like rename this, I can move it to a different location, put it in a different folder, move it into my team drives if I want to, but let's just uh, rename it for now. And what we're going to do is just get rid of this copy of at the front of it. So get rid of that, say OK, that's good. OK, so what have I got now? I've got this Google form. Uh, what I need to do is open it up. So when I open it up, this is what we're actually looking at. And you're in the editor now of the form. You can change this. You're changing your own copy of it. You're not changing the master or anything like that. But what it's got is a little heading at the top, New South Wales Public School Visitor Register. Please provide your contact details. It's got some information about what the purpose of it is. It's got, it asks for first name, it asks for last name, and it asks for mobile phone or email address. And these are the three key bits of information that the New South Wales government wants everybody to record when they have visitors at their site. Okay, do we need to do anything with this? The only thing we really need to do is click up here on send, and we need to get a shortcut link. So this is the link that normal visitors are going to need to have to put in to their device if you like to uh, be able to get to that form. So what we're going to do is copy that link and that's now copied to the clipboard as it says down there. Okay that's all we need to do. We don't need to do anything else with this form whatsoever. You can close that at this point if you want to. Now the second link that I had at that form, at that um, little two sets of links, www.v-qrcode-generator.com and that's a really cool little free website that creates QR codes. So I've already got that typed in here. It asks me to put in the URL, so we click URL here first and then we paste that big long thing in here and then this is the actual QR code that you have uh, created or it has generated for you. Now you can save that 
and uh, give it a name so we'll call it a PNG file and we'll just save that as QR for visitors QR for visitors form uh, let's make it say form instead of from okay that's good save it as a PNG that's fine and we'll just save that and where that's going to save it it should go into my downloads folder if I'm not mistaken there it is there okay we can uh, open that up and have a look at it if we want to that's what the QR code looks like so you can now grab this paste it into a Word document um, put it a little bit bigger put it up on a printed form at your front counter and anyone who comes along can grab their phone and what they're going to do is uh, go into their camera app or if they have a dedicated QR code app that some people have um, and what they're going to do so I'm just going to show you this it brings up their camera and when you hover over that code it will automatically put that whole URL of the uh, Google form straight onto the phone and then they'll hit the button that says open and what it will do is load the browser and then it will show me the form so that's exactly the form that you were looking at before but this is just for your school so it's ready for you to actually start receiving responses from uh, people's phones so just give me a, a second and I'm gonna fill this form out so it says please provide your contact details it asks for your first name and I'm just gonna type in Stu and it asks for my last name and I'm gonna type in Hasik and it asks for my mobile phone number and uh, what I'll do is as soon as it lets me I'm going to type in a mobile phone number and it's just random numbers doesn't really matter and I'm going to hit that submit button so then when it hits submit it tells me thank you the date and time have also been recorded along with your response isn't that nice and if there was somebody else with that person then they could give their phone and hit that little thing that says submit another response and they that other person could put their details straight in using their partner's phone um, if that's who they're with so that's all there was to it so where does that now go so let's go back to our Google Drive and what we'll find is if I go into the form itself uh, what I'll find is here in responses this has now gone up to one so straight away somebody has come in here and look it's me I've put in this this and this and I've now got that and what I can now do is generate a spreadsheet create a spreadsheet and I'll give it a the name that's a fine name no problems with that hit the create button and what that will now do is launch in Google Sheets my actual record of people who have uh, visited my school and it will not only give them the contact details but also the date and time that they attended your school and this will just keep getting added to with numbers uh, rows and rows of people so that was totally unscripted I'm sorry if it was a bit of a mess and I'm sorry if you didn't quite understand it all but if you go back through this video I'm sure you'll be able to to follow it and uh, see how quick and easy it is for you to have a visitor contact form for your school with a QR code that uh, you can have people contactless come in and uh, put their record in and you capture it and then whenever you need it you just go back to this spreadsheet and you'll have that information hope that helped and I'll see you in the next video